Alex Pereira has knocked out Yuri Prohaska. And yeah, in round two, early stoppage though, I think. Even though at the end though, in Yuri's post-fight interview, he did say he, he, he was out. He, looking back, he does think it was the right decision, but he always wants to carry on. But look. I do think it looked early. I do feel like it looked early. And especially like, look, it's a world championship fight. You've got to let that go on, I think. And let him take a few more shots and see if he can recover. I, 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 I personally do think that that should happen. It's a world championship fight. You should let that fight go on at least a bit, little bit longer, I think. Um, but yeah, look, overall... Looking uh, back at the fight now, obviously, in that first round, of course, Pereira started really well with some really heavy uh, leg kicks on you, you on Yuri Prohaska. And that was basically, and Prohaska's leg was basically beaten up after those first three kicks. It was on it like, Pereira doesn't telegraph whatsoever. He just fully goes for it and the leg kicks are so unpredictable and so ridiculously hard. Uh, honestly, it, it honestly just... Like, you take a massive beating from taking those leg kicks. Uh, and then towards the end of that first round, Yuri ended up taking uh, Pereira down, uh, getting a bit of control time on the ground. I ended up probably... Uh, but, and then kind of, but yeah, I kind of ended up giving that first round to Alex Pereira, though. It was close, so I see how you can possibly give that round to Yuri, though. But it was close. Yuri was getting the better of some exchanges on the feet in that first round. But Pereira was his one. I feel like those leg kicks basically helped seal, seal it for Alex Pereira, in my opinion. Then we go in and we look at round two. Yuri Prohaska comes out dominating in that uh, second round, to be fair. Getting the better of the exchanges on the feet. Doing well. Uh, but Pereira still beating up that leg, though. Going after it. Prohaska was... Um, yeah, Prohaska was doing well, though. He's landing well. Backing Pereira up. Uh, and yeah, like Prohaska was doing his thing. He, he was doing really well, uh, Yuri. He was getting into a rhythm well. But the thing is, though, is that Yuri, he doesn't bring, he doesn't bring his backhand back to his chin. And I was saying that in my, uh, pri in my pre-fight video, uh, for, for the fight. Like, I thought Pereira would win because he'd eventually end up countering Yuri because Yuri doesn't always bring his hands back to his chin and that would have affected him. And it did today. He was countered with two good shots. Uh, that Pereira gave to him, and some re two real quick, like, it was a real quick counter shot as well that Pereira gave him, really, really, really quick, um, to be fair, we can only really see it on the replay, but, like, like you couldn't see it first, because it was so quick, but, yeah, it was a good, solid shot as well, Yuri was definitely hurt by it, he was definitely hurt by it, but, as I said, it's a world championship fight. I do feel like you need to let that can like I, I do feel like you need to let that continue a little bit longer to be fair. And then Yuri got up and he was alright. Wasn't wobbling too much when, when he got up Yuri. So I feel like yeah, it, it was a little bit too early. But, you know, it, I, I do feel like regardless though, Alex Pereira would have won that fight anyway. I feel like the leg was getting beat up uh, of Yuri massively and you know he uh, yeah, Yuri touched the canvas in that first round from one of those leg kicks. Like, they're so ridiculously heavy. And Pereira's got massive power in his hands and great counter shots. Like, Pereira's really, really, really good and really quick, to be fair. And also, another thing I want to mention is, Pereira's takedown defense is a lot better than I think a lot of people thought. Because, you know, loads of people, you know, were kind of doubting it after, obviously, Israel Adesanya was able to take him down. But Pereira started in that, in that, uh, Jan Blachowicz fight. He showed good takedown defense. And he did today. Like, yes, he did get taken down, but he's not easy to take down. And Yuri was trying to go for something in that, uh, third round as well. And, sorry, in that second round as well. Uh, kind of, and it was a bit unsuccessful. So, yeah, like, um, Pere that's definitely un underrated. In that first round, Pereira actually did have something in. He tried to try and get a choke in against the cage, but then uh, Yuri got the takedown. But yeah, look, overall, a good fight with some good action in it, to be fair, as expected. But yeah, Alex Pereira with a big, big win, uh, of course. He's going to be a real hard man to be. I, I feel like you need to be a full-on wrestler to be able to beat Alex Pereira, but as I said, he is hard to take down, but, you know, if wrestling, if wrestling's just your game, then, you know, it's, like, it, like it's, it's, it's gonna be interesting, it's gonna be really interesting to see what happens with Alex Pereira now, he's gonna be fighting Jamal Hill next, which, will be, that'd be a good fight, that, that, I do think Pereira will win, 
I know that I won't be surprised if Jamal Hill wins, but I think it'll be a great fight, to be fair. It certainly will be. For Yuri Prohaska, what do we see from him? I want to see Yuri Prohaska fight the winner. I want to see him take a bit of time off. I want to see him fight the winner of Jan Blachowicz versus Alexander Rakic. That's what I want to see for Yuri Prohaska next. Uh, and then, you know, he can build his way back up and try and get into a title shot, like, uh, try and get himself a title shot with, like, two or three wins or something like that. That's what Yuri needs to do. But, yeah, Pereira, it's going to be interesting to see what his title reign uh, brings now, of course. Great, solid performance um, by him, to be fair. And I do feel like, you know, look, it... I feel like it was obvious that Yuri, when he was coming out, like, he was eventually going to get caught by someone like Alex Pereira when you keep on dropping your hands like how he was doing today. It was obvious he was going to end up getting caught and that leg was getting beaten up badly. So Yuri was getting slower as the fight was going on. He wasn't really, he wasn't like, yeah, it was, it, it wasn't looking good for, uh, for Yuri and his lead leg, to be fair, in that fight. Pereira, it's just deadly to see. Like, Yuri wasn't checking any kicks, but, you know, it is hard to do because, you know, Pereira's kicks are extremely hard to read. Uh, and, and that's probably, like, one of the best things. Like, it's so good about Pereira's game. Really unpredictable and, you know, so quick with the counters as well. And that's how he won today. So, yeah, you need to give Alex Pereira huge credit. It was a big, big, big performance by him. Uh, by him. He's nine wins and two losses. And he's all and he's a two-weight world champion in the UFC. And just everything Pereira's done in kickboxing as well. This man has achieved so, so, so much in combat sports, Alex Pereira. You cannot play take that away from him. He's achieved so much. And honestly, like, this guy's a legend of the game, Alex Pereira. He is honestly a legend of the game, to be honest with you. He honestly is. He's one amazing fighter. And honestly, like, people, like, I saw some people saying, oh, yeah, we'll never be able to, to do this. He got knocked out by Israel Adesanya. But if you think about that, though, I, I do think, like, at, at the end, Alex Pereira actually did say that he, he wants to see Israel Adesanya move up to, like, heavyweight. Don't see it happening. But, like, I do feel like the only reason Adesanya was able to knock out Pereira in that second fight is because if the weight cut for Pereira, and Pereira didn't look amazing in that first fight because... Uh, of the weight cut for Pereira. So I, I think that's why, like, that weight cut to middleweight. Like, you know, it's unbelievable how Pereira can actually make a light heavyweight. Like, honestly, don't know how he made middleweight. But yeah, Alex Pereira, the new UFC lightweight, light heavyweight world champion.